With an 84-57 win over Castleton State College Friday night in Kennedy Sports and Recreation Center, the Juniata College women's basketball team advances to the second round of the 2012 NCAA Women's Basketball Championship. Senior Megan Rayville, who posted 12 points on the Spartans, shared how it feels to be advancing and getting to play one more game at home. It feels awesome. It's so exciting, and we're home again, so, you know, we got the first day under our belts. Jitters are out. Now it's time to show up and play tomorrow, so. Juniata jumped out to an early 14-2 lead in the first four minutes of the game and continued to pull away throughout the first stanza. The teams entered intermission with the Eagles holding a substantial 43-29 lead. Juniata put up another 43 points in the second half in order to steal away the win and put an end to Castleton's season. With a 463 shooting percentage from the floor, Juniata's best since it beat Scranton back in January, Rayville shared what was working well for the Eagles. Um, definitely a team effort, like I said. Um, we were all into it. We all contributed, whether on the bench or on the floor. Everybody contributed in some, some way. Sophomore Kate McDonald in the game's high score with 21 points shared what players she couldn't have done without in the second half. In the second half, Natalie Glinski definitely stepped up, hit big, big time shots. She hit, I think it was like two three-pointers back to back or something like that, but um, she definitely gave us a spark when we were kind of stagnant on offense, so uh, she definitely helped push us to the uh, bigger lead in the second half. Natalie Glinski finished the night with 17 points, and junior Jordan Speck was the fourth player in the Juniata squad to hit double digits with 10 points. Just getting in the second round, knowing that there's only 32 teams in Division Three that are still playing, it's, it's just, it's fantastic, but uh, we need to focus on this and focus on getting to the next round, and I think this game today definitely gave us a lot of confidence because we played really well. With only 32 Division Three teams left standing in the nation, McDonald is looking forward to a long Juniata run into the postseason. Juniata faces York College of Pennsylvania, who defeated St. Vincent College Friday night to advance to the second round at 7.30 p.m. Saturday, March 3rd in Kennedy Sports and Recreation Center. For JuniataSports.net, I'm Kaylee McCool.